All right, everyone. So it's pretty clear the Hawks are moving to somewhat of a rebuild. Obviously, they lucked out. We're able to get the first overall pick in this year's draft, but they already traded DeJounte Murray. And my guess is they probably, if the right deal is out there, would like to move off of Trey Young. The problem is we have a report here from Hoops Hype titled Lakers Spurs not very interested in Trey Young. So here is what they wrote. They're sourcing ESPN. Trey Young is potent enough to keep the Hawks around 500. And they don't have much incentive to tank so long as the Spurs control their first round picks through 2027, thanks to the original Murray trade. The smoothest way to reclaim those picks is trading Young to the Spurs. But San Antonio has not shown much recent interest in that, sources said. The Spurs understand that the potential value of those picks, and they, parentheses for now, appear to be favor holding them hostage over swapping them back to Atlanta. The Lakers, too, have shown little recent interest in Young. Sources said that could change if the price drops to Ellie's liking, but the market for Young is as chilly as it has ever been. Now, the fact that the Spurs own the Hawks pick certainly is an issue. We did a video on this earlier. The Spurs getting Trey Young no longer makes a ton of sense because they got Chris Paul. Why would you give up those valuable picks when the Hawks, regardless if they have Young or not, are probably not going to be very good? doesn't make a whole lot of sense. The Lakers, on the other hand, this is something I don't understand. The Lakers should be pushing and pushing and pushing to get Trey Young because the bottom line is they need someone like him on that team. Trey Young would be the closest thing to a third star that they could find, right? There's no other third star out there for them to get as of right now. Trey Young can score the ball. He could take a little bit of pressure off LeBron. He could certainly play off the ball as well because he could shoot. You know, defensively, he's not maybe what everybody wants. But at the same time, you could you could manage, right? There's a lot of great guards in the NBA that can't really defend. But I think Trey Young would be a great fit with them and something they need in case LeBron misses time or Anthony Davis misses time. This would be a key addition. So I don't know what the Lakers are doing, why they wouldn't go after him. Maybe they're playing a little bit too hardball here, figuring, well, the Hawks are in a bad spot. So we're going to kind of wait this one out. I'm not sure that's the best thing. We'd love to see the Lakers go and get them, but I don't think that's going to happen. But either way, this is bad news for the Hawks because they're stuck. They're unable to rebuild without draft picks, and they're unable to move somebody who they're probably ready to move. So not necessarily sure what they, how they go from here, you know, uh, but we will see. So thank you all for watching, and we will see you next time.